We're in. Oh, they strike to FD. I mean, I have no idea where they would strike to. Yeah, I'm just going to watch. All right. But let's see. I'm interested because DK definitely has a crazy combo game and a lot of characters. How did um, how did X1 get her, her neutral B already? <laughs> <laughs> she lost I, it, but... Um, I think maybe after the combo or maybe right at the start, but... Uh, X1 definitely also got a combo at the start, so I'm not sure. Oh. Maybe it's a little charges oh. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, she's charging it like mid combo, which is really, really smart. Currently, kind of bullying. Ooh, Ooh I was oh. gonna say bullying uh, <laughs> Decked on in neutral, but Ganon has that clip on his up B that just gives him a little bit of recovery edge. Yeah, that's gonna be a yeah. simple ledge grab. I feel like maybe another down B would have saved him. Uh, Gannon yeah, can definitely do two down. He can definitely do two gown oh. down beats. That does 30. <laughs> it does. That what does what 30. the hell? <laughs> and in neutral as well, just like slam it. I'm going to punch you. It's a good idea because like it's like Samus charge shot. You, you yeah. rarely see it coming. And you're like, then they're not, they're not going to use their finishing in at the yeah, beginning. At the, and I feel like when you use it once, people start like, the next time you have it charged, they start respecting it, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, they, they have it. But we be careful. I definitely see that with Samus Charge Shot a lot. So I think one of the... Oh, oh that was a great up B. X1 is so good at using this up B hitbox. Have, did you, have you seen that clip of her playing uh, Nebby? Um, and yes. In the crew yes. battle. And like, it's this crazy tense, like, last dock situation. And then Nebby down Bs. And, and uh, X1 oh yeah, up Bs. X1 up Bs and, and they both go flying. I, I, never knew, <laughs> I never knew that could happen in my life. So yeah, insane. that hitbox is crazy. Uh, it's really strong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I think the up air is going to be like the big, the big move for Decadonna's matchup, right? Uh, it's yeah. huge. It scoops up uh, in the perfect direction for a character like Donkey Kong. Oh, another Donkey Kong! And also, you can use it to, uh, like, kind of semi spike. DK. Yeah, sort of edge guard. Yeah, that's what I'm interested in most. Uh, yeah. How Decadonna's going to edge guard this? I've seen him drop quite a few. Yeah. But as the set progresses, hopefully he picks up on it. Oh. Oh, it just goes above him. I think you've got a lot of height on that. X1's like using her jump so well to get get over the up air. And I've seen twice now Decador try and <gasps> Maybe a few too many down bees. <laughs> Just a few too many down bees. I, I, Chase is hurrying back to his chair because he didn't expect to have to put in a score already. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was a quick uh, quick spike out of what, yeah. ten ten percent. Yoshi story. <laughs> Last call for net. Where the hell is that man? I feel like this this is gonna be a great stage for Decadon if he can get something started. Yeah, I feel like the early kills are definitely gonna help him out. Um, I and mean, probably in the neutral as well. I feel like he was kinda getting rolled in the neutral. Oh. Didn't yeah. really get to command much, whereas uh, we're kinda forced to play play melee in here. Just, oh, just nearly killed. Four times, like. well, what yeah. I'm starting to see is I'm starting to see a, a surprisingly good combo game. On Ganon, uh, DK has, which I don't. It's not. It's not that common for a lot of characters. Well, DK um, just destroys heavy characters, um, at least in the combo game. So it it, it does make sense. Oh my! Oh, another thirty <laughs> percent, and and she went for the down B as well. I actually love the down B. Oh, nice pick up with a fair by Decudon. Um, the thing with this matchup, I think, is. You know at low percent when you get, uh, sorry, at like lower level when you get hit by a, a big move on your shield, yeah. like Ganon Stomp, uh, Ganon Stomp, Falcon Stomp, like Falcon Knee on shield, uh, it can be difficult to like figure out how to react to that, like how what to your actually punish you. Yeah, like what what your next move is after that, and I I struggle with it sometimes. So these two characters that are just hitting very hard on each <laughs> other's shield, I think uh, I think X1 is going to have the edge in terms of like. Yeah. Knowing what to do next. And knowing what, what you even can punish. Yeah. I definitely saw Decadon try and wave dash grab uh, something DK did and it just was not. Yeah, good. exactly. Oh, like very a, creative. It's like a non esque up beat. There's no you're going to shield or shield drop. Yeah. So this is like a. Ooh! <gasps> a bit slow off the edge. Yeah, I think Decadon could have got an up air out of that. Yeah, uh, an and, up air. and then he would have had to race to the other side to continue the edge guard, but. But you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing X1 do a lot of those donkey punches at zero specifically. I feel like maybe it's trying to get out of those crap cancel percent. Yeah. And then it's probably more. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Was that an edge cancel? I think so, but I think that's a switch attack. 
Oh, oh my so god. That was the fastest 100 so, I've seen. That. So cool. <laughs> and I, I think Decadon's aware of like that Ganon's up here's like potential in this matchup, but I've seen him get like duped off stage. Like yeah. where where X1 is just jumping around where he wants to up air and, going, and getting yeah. out of it. I feel like X1's maybe looking at where Decadon's covering and sort of not doing that, you know, not going for what he's covering. Ooh. Oh, that was... Oh, bit of a flub. Yeah. I think I think she expected Decadon to jump, and Decadon was like, I'm going to take my time on, on Randall. Wow, all right. And it's 2-0 already. I feel like X1 just... It looks like to me, X1 just has a lot of experience in this matchup. I don't know how. Yeah. Um, but, uh, maybe goofballs? You know, you know oh, goofballs. Um, no, they don't really... I'm not sure if they live close anymore, but... Uh, they're, they're friends, so they might have played at some point uh, recently. Yeah, and possibly, possibly even today, because Goofles is here. And I think, like, this is the thing. You always think, where did X1 get that matchup knowledge from? And, and I think the answer is, she didn't. She <laughs> just knows what to do somehow. Um, yeah, it's all that old school just knowledge. But yeah, she, she's been playing the game for, a, for quite a few years, actually. Um, and obviously, you used to play Falco, but. Now we're in this new now, this new era of Donkey Kong it's madness. Out. It's working out pretty well. Yeah. And that is Oh, it doesn't do anything but gets the down smash. Down smash is gonna kill, that's yeah. crazy. Surprising move that uh, It's pretty good on floaties, I feel. I think misses a shield drop there. Oh <laughs> Yeah, that that would be a stop. Yeah, I think that's the first time Scary I've seen going for the like a successful edge guard on Decadon's end. Yeah. Well, it, and it all happened because uh, X1 had no jump, you know? Yeah, it just makes so it that much easier. That's when you need to find it, because with, with the jump, it's actually a much more difficult process. Yeah, there's like mix ups. Oh. So, no jump here, you can up air this. Yeah, and doesn't get it backwards, just sends yeah. X1 into stage, not what he wanted. Oh, a good sweet spot, actually. I'm, I'm sure Ganon could fake out. Oh wow, crazy combo! Ooh. Ooh. Just kills him. Just Ooh. kills him. Oh, X1 looking a bit. Uh, sorry, Decadon looking a bit. Yeah, he just got nicked. annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, oh, what the fuck? Because you don't, you don't typically expect to die to a move which does that little knockback. Yeah. I feel like you got that brain fog when you got hit. I sort of perplexed in there. I think he gave X1 a lot more credit uh, and thought, well, there's going to be a, an after. Yeah. An after move here. Nice fall in back here is going to cover that area. I feel like I'm, I'm seeing the edge guards this game. Uh, That's a roll read as well. A little bit too late. Too little, too late. Oh. Nice get up attack. And X1's <laughs> been catching that since that last Yoshi story game. Well. And DK's got a really good back air and uh, they've got a lot of horizontal recovery. So DK can definitely go out there. At least versus Gamma. Nice down B. Oh, just, just out spaces it with literally that. Literally piling on percent in every direction. Oh, 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 great fade yeah, by X1. And oh, oh, gets fared out of a double jump. No, this is what I expected could, the matchup to be like. Could we get a game from Decadon? I, I feel like he's kind of earned it. Possibly, uh, you'd need a crazy zero to death. Or Miss spaces the fair there from this one. We're clo so close to death. Nice. Weak bear is going to give e Decadon another chance to live. But Cannon's definitely not good enough yeah, to, I think to live. Yeah. Uh, not great to iron. Oh, um, that's it. You're right. <laughs> yeah, you can like fall back on this chair. Okay. At least on my one. Good job to X1. Uh, 3 0 